Good morning. Welcome to my adventure. Today we are going to the SCA Expo. It is Thursday, April 20th at a dark and early, if it'll focus, that's my cat. Um, hold on. There it is. At 5.02 in the AM. What a glorious time to be awake. I'm about to get into a lift and head to the airport. We are on our way to Portland for the SCA Expo 2023. It's my first time going which is a little embarrassing to admit, but here we go. Let's get on our way. Here we are, day one of the expo. The floor doesn't actually open until 10 a.m., which for a coffee show is a little weird, I gotta be honest, but um, we're gonna make the most of a couple hours we've got before the show floor opens and visit a couple cafes. So we're gonna walk from my Airbnb, hit up a couple, uh, Case Study and Proud Mary are just about a mile away, half a mile to a mile. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk it, have a nice morning jaunt in, uh, damp Portland. Let's see how it goes. We are almost to our first destination, Case Study Coffee Roasters. Let's check them out. First coffee in Portland, let's see how it is. I approve. It's actually really nice. Got a bit of a fruity, but mild, pretty solid. First stop of success. Case study, delicious, ran into a former San Diego shop. I don't know those who San Diego folks who maybe remember Bean Bar. Uh, gentleman in there was the owner of Bean Bar. So that's an interesting blast from the past. I never really realized they were gone, actually. They're downtown in San Diego. I don't visit very often down there. So anyway, the espresso I had there was delicious. Well, macchiato and uh, just a nice start to probably what's going to end up being a long day of coffee. So try not to overdo it, but I'm really excited. No offense to any of the other places I'm visiting, but I've been really excited for a long time about trying Proud Mary. So that's where we're stopping off next. Let's go. Now, as I look down the block, I'm seeing a lot of people. I have a sneaking suspicion like moss to the flame. Coffee people to coffee. So it might be a bit of a in there. We are about to find out. You and I together, let's experience this.
All right, well, it was popping in uh, Proud Mary, so unfortunately, not a whole lot of filming to be done in there. I tried to grab as much as I can without getting in the way. I hate to be the, uh, well, the camera, to be honest. But such is life. Gotta say, so far, Portland's been hitting it on the head with coffee. We're gonna head to the show here in a minute. It's about 10 o'clock and that's when the show floor opens. So I guess we gotta get over there. Uh, it can't all be coffee shop hopping and, uh, you know, shop vibes. Hello, welcome to the currently unseen portion of my studio. But as you can see, I am back from SCA and I've got some things to say. And I wanna talk about some of my favorite things I saw at SCA, things I'm trying to get a hold of for my counter, for my bar, and to make videos and talk about more in depth. So let's dive into them, shall we? First up, just quickly, I wanna get this out of the way. I did stop at the Time War booth um, I actually really enjoyed the 064S as you saw, I did a review on it um, a month or so ago maybe at this point. And I went and stopped by their booth, took a look at the 078 and the 078S. I'm very intrigued by the 078S overall. I also am very interested in the burrs on the 078. So I had a nice conversation with the Timewar folks. Hopefully I'll get a 078S and a pair of 078 turbo burrs coming in the near future for a review and to talk about those more in depth. Next up, I made my way to the San Remo booth. Now, San Remo was a main sponsor of the SCA Expo this year, so San Remos were everywhere. But the one San Remo I'm interested in, and probably you are if you're a home barista, is the San Remo U. So I stopped by their booth when Hugh Kelly was doing demos and I was able to chat with him. So if you don't remember Hugh Kelly, he was the Australian barista champion who did that um, espresso over frozen balls. So that was pretty popular. I did a video about that maybe a month or two ago, talking about that situation. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link to that somewhere in this region. But um, basically was able to chat with Hugh. He was a very nice guy. He pulled me some shots of a very nice Ethiopian from uh, Anna and had a nice chat. I uh, was able to make a connect over at San Remo. So hopefully a U will be on my counter in the next few months. Another machine or type of machine or brand or whatever you want to call it that people have been interested in seeing on my channel that hasn't been here is a Breville. So I was able to also make a contact with Breville. Met a gentleman over there. Uh, he chatted me through how they use the new Breville's. Um, I'm not sure which Breville machine I'm going to try to get. If you have any interest in seeing a particular one, drop that in a comment down below. But I am going to try to make a connection with Breville to try and get some of those on my bar so I can talk about them for you and also get some information for myself because I haven't had one for more than maybe a few shots. Uh, I've never had one for a, an extended period of time. So looking forward to making that connection and getting a Breville on the bar. Uh, also, next up from the Breville, another thing I'm interested in, and we've already basically connected and we've planned this, is a Seneso ES1. If you aren't familiar with Seneso, uh, most home baristas probably aren't, unless they go to a lot of cafes and ask a lot of questions, which they probably do. But Seneso basically is, this is their first kind of single group home sort of machine. They have single group machines that are more commercial focused for like small cafes, roastery labs, things like that. But the ES1, is kind of their semi-commercial, semi-home machine that they're coming out with. Uh, and I got a chance to chat with Ryan Wilbur over there about the new machine. Uh, there is one coming to me. I don't have an exact date, but probably within the month I should have it on the bar. So probably a review in the next two months, be my guess. 
And last but certainly not least, I did have a chance to chat with and catch up with the folks over at Odyssey out of Denver. They're making the Argos, which is a new uh, compact, very cool looking lever machine that I'm very curious about. Was able to have a conversation with them. And um, we've also arranged a loaner machine for me to test out and review in the coming months or so. We haven't, again, arranged a specific time, but that one should make its way on my bar in the very near future. He's focusing on fulfilling orders first, which I would prefer anyway. So looking forward to getting that when they have an extra uh, lying around that hasn't been spoken for yet. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, I saw a lot of things, talked to a lot of people, um, personally, I am, as you maybe noticed over time of watching my videos, uh, that I'm a bit of a loner. I'm a bit of a, of a solo guy. So I made this trip alone. I ran into coffee people I knew on the plane, of course, uh, hung out with my friend Sophie, hung out with a couple of her friends from different coffee places all over the country, uh, ran into my brother, as you saw earlier in the video. So, but it was still, you know, very much a solo spro trip, um, for those of you that I met that recognized me even wearing a mask, good on ya. Um, was very excited to actually see some people. I see the view numbers, but it's very hard to equate those to real people. And it's kind of interesting to actually talk to someone face to face that is like, hey, I love your content. So thank you so much for watching. Um, anyone who approached me if I came across awkward, I'm sorry, I'm a bit uh, socially stunted, uh, but what are you gonna do? Uh, anyway, Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions about what I saw at SCA, what is coming up in the future of the channel uh, in terms of reviews, any recommendations that maybe um, I missed or which particular item that I talked about you're most excited to see, drop all of those things and anything else in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. And a big thank you to this month's Patreon supporters, Stephen, Claire, Sam, Bow Coffee, Spookus, Noel, Cheryl, Thomas, Sean, Horace, and Roe, John, Ads, Josh, Corey, Tim, Jason, Jeffrey, Jeff, Mike, Brandon, Tyler, JRC, Absolute, Stephen, Marco, Lord Bumbley, Arthur, Techcom Advisors, Devo, Ben, Monster04, Bruce, Lilac, NK, Brooks, Henry, Sam, Nano Roastery, Pat T, Suwin Jr., Sergey, Matthew, Miroslav, Malkonig, Schlack, Shrey, Steven, Andrew, Pedro, Rami, Alex, Coffee Bros, Tom, Lars, Hugh, Gergen, Pax Coffee, Robin, and Sherar. And of course, a big thank you to the Barista and Barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, last but certainly not least, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. And as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.